All right, boys, we are starting the day at the local mall. I am going to get my hair cut off that so many of you have been yelling at me for like a month now. I know it is way too long, so let's go get it cut off. Pray for me. Boom, you like that? A fresh cut, got it trimmed up a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There was like a hour wait. There was a ton of people in there, I guess, because after Christmas and stuff, I am not wasting an hour of my day to wait to get a haircut. I'll just come back later. Um, right now, we are going, going back to the house because we have to start dropping the trans in the S14. I know, sadly, this lady just pulled up next to me and she was just staring, so I'm gonna casually cruise off. But we are going home. We gotta drop the trans in the S14 today. There is a lot of work to be done. I will explain it when we get back to the house. I, I tried to snap with my left hand, that didn't work. Thank you. Alright, so just went ahead and threw a hat on. I don't need a haircut today, it's whatever. Say hi. hi. Got the hot voice hat on. <laughs> I, I had one laying around, so I gave it to him. But huge shout out to my dad. I don't know if you're watching this right now, but he got me a heater for Christmas. Um, I've been I've had his hostage for like two years now, so I'm giving his back. And I can do it. <laughs> but real quick, we got to get the G35 out of the garage and watch my little brother. So he's gonna ride scooters around in here. We got to drop the trans in the Koki. Um, it just. I'll explain later. The battery's about that on the camera. But yeah, let's get the G35 out of the garage. I want to daily drive this thing so bad. Look at all the leather, boy. It's gonna start right up. You ready? The luxury. Ooh. All right, so I apologize for the noise, but something really, really cool just happened. I actually met up with the original, uh, well, the original guy that swapped this car that I was talking about back in 2005. So if you're watching this right now, huge shout out to you, dude, you're awesome. We're gonna be doing a video kind of talking about how he started building this car and how I got it and kind of the changes it made eventually when it's done in like a month. Cause I still gotta do the livery, the dual caliper setup and this car is like done, done, done. Like hit the streets every night. Yeah, that kind of stuff. You know what I love about my car? The fact that I just dropped a trans and this is how dirty my hands are. That is dust, that's not even grease, like, it's dust. So, the whole reason I'm dropping my trans, well, let me fix my crazy hair. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. It's kind of stupid, but you know, things happen. So in there, as you can see, my fork, which is this, isn't even connected to my throw out bearing up there. All right, but yeah, I don't know what happened. I have no idea how the clip came off. I put it on wrong, you know, it doesn't matter. Things happen, learn from mistakes, I'm fixing it now, I'm putting it back together. And all right, so I had to take the trans all the way out because you guys aren't gonna believe what happened. Well, I mean, I gotta replace it anyway, but. All right, so you ready? Let's take this fork back off. It's all bearing out. You see that right there? That piece that snapped off? That goes into this little clip thing. I have no clue how that happened. Ask you guys, look, I'm gonna ask you on Snapchat and whoever helps me is gonna get a nice shout. All right, so I'm in the middle of recording. This is actually gonna be in a video. Literally in not even a minute. Nip poop? No, nip noop. <laughs> Thank you, let's see if you're right. Shout out to Nip. Noop. Nip noop, I think it was. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this now and then get this in and we'll get the trans back in. Thank you. I love all the Snapchat dudes. Please add me. I'm sure multiple. Yeah, see, a bunch of you guys are already responding. Thank you so much. I, that means the world to me. All right, so got everything kind of organized. Got the bolt all away so I don't lose nothing. Got the engine on a jack stand so it doesn't fall over in the middle of the night. Okay, so as you guys know, we were gonna do, wow, I'm super bright right now, it'll focus, hang on, there it is. All right, so as you guys know, we have this wonderful Koki out here, 97, same year as mine, we we're gonna do the giveaway on. And it ended up, you know, not happening, I was super bummed out about it, it just sucked, it really sucked. This little brother's dirt bike fell over. Like, it was, it was a terrible day. I literally remember almost tearing up and crying on live stream. Like, I was not joking, I wasn't putting on a front for anyone. I don't care about that kind of stuff. I was literally upset, like, bad. So, what ended up happening was, um, just let it go, just sold it. 
I gotta finish a couple things for the kid. He's actually my friend, he watches the channel. He was like, yo man, if you're not gonna do that, like, I'll come get the car from you. At first I didn't wanna get rid of it, but then I was like, you know what? Why build another Koki like I talked to you guys about when we can do something different, so. Boom, got the G35, it's gonna be a cool build. It's a four door, I mean, it's not many people do that. And uh, also, I wouldn't want two of the same cars. Like, I mean, I would, I love cookies. I'm getting another one, believe me. For the channel to be different and to build a different car and grow as Garage Sideways, as a group, a team, a YouTube channel, a job, a business, need to switch it up. So I went ahead and manual swapped this thing. We're gonna pull it back in the garage, do a final couple touch-ups. Gotta put the headlights back in, need some coolant. Uh, needs to be topped off on all fluids. Actually, it has trans fluid. I did that. Just needs coolant and like a couple other things. So let's get it in the garage. The trans is so loud with no shifter thing. Oh, you need hot boy wheels and coilovers. Please support me. Watch the videos. Got a dent. Got it out pretty good from the first time you guys saw it. I don't know if I ever showed you the dent in the bumper, but I got that completely out where you can't even see it. So we're about to take Mommy's Whip up to Advanced Auto, get some coolant for my friend Brendan for his new kooky, and then also I need to get um, some oil for the G35. I'm gonna do an oil change on it, because you guys know that you told me 100 times it's gonna blow up. So I'm gonna do an oil change to make sure it doesn't blow up. I'm also gonna get some diff fluid, because the diff isn't locking very well. Eventually we'll weld it, but I'll give it a shot just to change the fluid and see if the viscosity or whatever it's called makes the clutch like the viscous clutch style diff grab a little better and if it does that would be great if not we'll just weld it so let's go up to the store always coming to this advanced auto parts because my man behind the counter always hooking us up with the best deals all right, so I ended up getting the stuff I needed and then I forgot that I needed coolant so I had to go back in there. But once again, huge shout out to the dude that works in there. He's always hooking me up with the commercial pricing. Thank you, man. All right, so back at the house. Got some coolant for this kooky. Kooky, kooky, same thing, whatever. And then got a new oil filter and some royal purple oil. All right, so I didn't take you guys with me, but I drove it around the block. It actually drove great. The car felt good, power steering felt good, trans felt good, no grinds or anything, no misfiring, nothing stupid. The only thing I noticed is the one time I started up, it didn't want to run, and then I started back up and it ran great. I guess it's just a KA thing. <laughs> well, this car does that too. So I'm really glad this is together. I hope this is a great car for my friend. Um, you know, hopefully you know, he swaps it, makes it cool, does whatever with it, and it'll be cool. Maybe we'll even keep it on the channel. I told him he can bring it over here whenever we want and we can work on it. So, I'm actually waiting for Tyler because we're going to look at a car. You guys all know he has the NA White Miata that's really clean. He wants to get into a 240 just for more aftermarket support and just a better drift chassis. I personally wish he would stick with the Miata because it's a little more different. A lot of people have Miatas, but people usually get out of them when they start progressing. I'd like to see someone super good in an NA Miata because I've seen it before and it's really cool to see that all right so we made it out it's like 20 degrees I'm freezing here's the s13 we are checking out uh, we're gonna get more into it but sadly Tyler's clutch pedal got lost on the highway the stud that goes into the master like vibrated out so we're gonna fix that real quick on the spot and then we'll start checking this thing out <laughs> are we about to see some donuts uh, all right we're with my man Julio we just swapped he's got the uh, Miata I got the s13 I just want to give it a goodbye donut. Uh, I mean, you, you got to rip a donut too. He's gonna rip it too. I'm gonna give it a quick one, then he's gonna give it one, and then we're gonna dip out. But all right, this is my last donut in this car. So sad. <laughs> he's like his Miata. Oh! Oh, this window don't go down. Yeah, this one don't either. Hell yeah, bro! Alright, try, try and do a Doni. The, the S13. Oh! It's got an LSD! Alright, let's get out of here. Damn, she got some... Damn, she got some tools back there! I just want to get out of this general area. Got the S13. Woo! Look at that pool! It sounds good for a KA. It does. 
Why are you just clutch? clutching in the No, because the clutch just slips a little bit. It's going to need my sub in it. I have a sub in it still. Tyler's got an S13 that is so ugly that it needs work. But the good part about this car, we're going to talk real quick, is the rust. There's no rust here, and there's no rust underneath where they typically rust. And then, of course, certain things that are, we can replace. Here, pop the hood real quick. But once again, no rust besides this little bit right here that's no big deal, a side skirt cover. No rust. So, super awesome. Yeah, pop the hood up. Did you see how I was reaching for the end? I reached for like a Miata. Oh. I'm freezing, so we're just gonna do this quick. But, dual cam KA. And the funny part is this might possibly be his brother's car from like five years ago because he recognized something on the inside that was painted. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Is but, the, uh, uh, the start towers and shit shirt? Yeah, that's my car. It had a little rust right there. That's typical. That's not a big deal. They could easily fix that. Coilovers already installed. That's sick. Yeah, what kind are they? We couldn't. I don't know. Fucking... We'll figure. We're gonna dive into this thing we tomorrow. Too. But I think we're gonna end the video here, guys. Instead of taking it all the way home, because it seems to be a great car. It rips. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've been working on the car all day. Back tomorrow to dive into this car. Donuts. You, you excited? Three. Oh, I'm fucking. It's gonna be stuck. rad because the plan is to paint this car and everything just like the team, like my car, like Zach's car is getting painted. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got another S13 back on the channel. Catch you next time. Peace out. Don't forget, keep a street and style matters. So, we're about 20 minutes <laughs> down the road, right? Tyler goes, yo, can you adjust my mirror? Where's the thing at, right? So, we try to adjust the mirror. The mirrors don't work, all right? And he goes, oh, I'm going to out my window so I can do it by hand. <laughs> oh, shit, is your window working? Because mine's not. <laughs> and then I was like, no, my window don't work. I, I already tried that earlier. Fucking the wiper comes up and that bit look. And then he tried to use the wiper. And the wiper got stuck. Hey, Till, you're gonna break my dashboard.